Hey Ravens, welcome to ONW Now. I'm Ron Stanley alongside Lena Satterin. In today's show, we'll bring you stories on Ravens Kids Night Out, the recent Westboro protest, an update on Northwest sports, and more. Recently, an ONW engineering student got a, the amazing opportunity to get hands-on experience with flight, engineering, and space exploration at the Honeywell Leadership Challenge in Huntsville, Alabama. The one-week camp included students from around the world and is held every year. A flight simulator, where we, there's a room of flight simulators. We all were just uh, learning the basic mechanics of flight. We also did engineering design challenges, um, whether it be rocket building or just the heat shield development. We also did a full shuttle mission simulation, so whether it was mission control in the shuttle or in the International Space Station. It was a hands-on experience thing where we learned, um, obviously, the different fields of engineering and uh, sciences, but also it was a leadership development camp. So we all were constantly in our teams doing teamwork and building our leadership abilities and teamwork abilities. The Westboro Baptist Church finally made time in their busy schedule to protest when what, in what was originally scheduled nearly two months ago. They sent only four protesters with their infamous signs ready to go, while counter protesters from a local church displayed on the opposite side of the road. Some ONW students also decided to come out and display with a more humorous approach, with signs displaying words such as, I have a sign. Thank you for staying positive, Ravens. Spring sports are in full swing this season. Let's take it over to game day to catch up on the latest ONW sports. What's up, Ravens, and welcome to a special guest edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Evan Kalapak here with Conlon Archer. Today we've got updates on all of our spring sports. Let's get started. On Monday afternoon, the golf team was at Kansas City Country Club for the Shawnee Mission East Invitational. The Ravens battled both the wind and the cold, but overcame the all-ins to grab fifth place out of the 26 teams at the tournament. Tuesday was a busy night. The Lady Ravens soccer team beat the Leavenworth Pioneers 3-0. Tonight, they will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Trailblazers from Gardner at Seaback. Good luck, ladies. Also on Tuesday, the softball team dominated the Lawrence High, Chest High School Chesty Lions, winning 12-2. Their next game will be on Thursday night at Seaback against Mill Valley to kick off their tournament this weekend. Go win three games, ladies. Congratulations to the girls' swim and dive team for performances at the Olathe Invitational Meet against 19 teams. Emily Copeland, Maddie Fentiman, and Brooke Elam took third, sixth, seventh, and all made state cuts. Jaden Brandstrom took 8th in the 100 free and qualified for state. Their next meet is Tuesday, April 17th at Shawnee Mission Northwest. On Tuesday night, the Raven baseball team went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Vikings from Shawnee Mission West. It was a tough night on the mound and at the plate. The boys struggled to create any real momentum. Unfortunately, they fell 4-3, to three, taking their record to 5-4 and four this season. The Ravens will strike back on Thursday against their newest rivals, the Olathe West Owls. That's all, folks. Tune in Friday for the newest episode of Raven Roundup. Now, back to the desk. Last Friday, parenting and child development students hosted the 15th annual Raven Kids Night Out. Let's take it to Ainsley Heisey and Lena Saturn for more info. Raven's Kids Day Out is an opportunity for the parenting and child and development student classes to get first-hand experience with child care. There's nothing more perfect than to allow them to interact with the children one-on-one. -on -one. It's authentic learning. They, they practice what we've been preaching. So. Um, so most high school students in the class were assigned a little kid, and so the parents, um, they worked at the school, they bring their kids in, and each um, high school student's matched up with the kid and they spend the whole night with them, and there's activities, and you can make bracelets and play basketball, and you just watch them the entire night, and then they leave with their parents. For ONW Now, this has been Lena Saturn and Ainsley Heisey. Now back to the desk. This past weekend, ONW competed in the NSDA National Qualifier in Congressional Debate. In a field of 116 students from 14 schools, we took three of the six spots in the House and Senate to advance to national tournament in June in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Jacob Guernsey got the chance to interview one of the qualifiers. So it's just a mock Congress, really. The students from all the schools in our district just around here, they all write pieces of legislation that we all just talk about pro and con the, and the benefits of them. And then we vote on them and do other like Congress procedure. Yeah, it's a really cool feeling. I, I kind of expected to make the top 24 because I did the last year, but I wasn't very sure who would be qualifying to nationals. But we all just tried really hard. And then when my name was called, it was a really cool feeling. And now some much-needed prom info. Seniors and juniors, remember that this year's prom is off campus. The dance will start at 8 and the doors will be closing at 9.30, so make sure you are there on time. All juniors and outside guests must buy a ticket. Getting a ticket from a senior that isn't going won't allow you to get into the dance. 
That's all for this week's edition of ONW Now Ravens. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and on Snapchat at ONW Now. For the Raven Daily, this has been Roan Stanley and Lena Satterin. Enjoy your three-day weekend, Ravens, and enjoy your prom.